think there's a real feeling for Dixie beer, and not only in the city of New Orleans, but throughout the Gulf South. This is a brand of heritage and culture. This recipe is 110 years old. Returning it to its heritage, to its original recipe from 1907, this was very, very key to bringing back to the public what, what they understood to be Dixie. Bringing that recipe back was the key to, to this entire endeavor. Dixie Lager is a golden in color, it pours to a very nice head, and it is a very drinkable beer. It doesn't cloy on your mouth. It really is a, it's almost like a palate cleanser. Uh, it's very refreshing and perfect with, uh, you know, roast beef poor boys or uh, certainly with boiled crawfish. It just is kind of the perfect setting and it's the perfect beer for it. If you're just getting into beer, uh, our light beer would probably be a nice way to start. Dixie Light is a brand new beer, brand new recipe. We, we wanted to bring a, a light beer to the marketplace that had flavor. It could kind of stand up and, 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 and people could enjoy it with the with food of the Gulf South also. A light beer that has the taste profile of Dixie. We're very proud of this. We've got a beer with flavor. We've got a beer that I think everybody's going to enjoy. And it's 91 calories. If you're looking to move into the craft phase, then you would want to go to the Black and Voodoo. It's almost amberish in style, I would say, in terms of its lightness. It's a, it's a dark beer. You, you get quite a bit of car caramel and chocolate, and then you get that, that, that roasted barley that kind of gives it that little toastiness, and it just fits very, very, very wonderfully with a lot of our spicy foods. We're going to continue to listen to the public, and we're, we're going to make some endeavors in the craft category. We will not be a Beer of the Month club. I, I would tell you that, that, that there are plans on the drawing board right now to bring some other products to the marketplace, but very slowly, maybe two in the next year. Uh, but we're still in the, the experimental part of, of developing the beer. And uh, we have an, actually we have a, a, a microbrewery that uh, Mr. Benson allowed us to build here in New Orleans. The beer is available currently really from the, in, in southern Louisiana and it's from the Mississippi coast all the way through New Orleans, Baton Rouge, Lake Charles, down to home of Thibodeau. We'll expand that into Alabama and into Mississippi in the, in the very near future, probably in the next six to seven weeks. We were fortunate enough to be one of the sponsors of beer in the Superdome. We've had an enormous, wonderful response from the public. So Dixie is there and it's a, it's a prominent part of the fabric of, of the dome and of the Smoothie King Center. We want people to try it. We really think we've got a good brew. And I think that's the essence of it, being Dixie and, and feeling Dixie and living Dixie. I think we brought home a beer that people are gonna be proud of. This is the beer of our city. This is the beer of, our, of the Gulf South and our, and our people.